I was teaching computer science at the time, and I caught my students trying to hack. And my natural first response was, no, no, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> right around the same time, we had a university speaker come in to talk about uh, careers and universities that offered computer science programs. And literally the recruiter came into my classroom and, and they recruited me <laughs> instead. I've been a bartender, a waitress, I've done veterinary tech work, I was a project manager, business analyst, and now I work in digital forensics and incident response. So before I worked in cybersecurity, I used to work in graphic design, and now I, I now work as a, a security analyst uh, for, a non, for a large nonprofit. So I used to be a makeup artist for many years. And right now, I am a penetration tester for Rapid7. I've been doing that for the past three years. So my interest in cybersecurity actually started in high school. I just didn't know it for what it was, um, and really hacking um, parental controls and like, you know, if you wanted to listen to certain music, you had to get creative. So I'd say my interest started when I was a kid, and that is when I really started to learn about how you could kind of use what you have or what you've got, especially like, how can I use this to play pranks on my sisters, right? How can I start using my computer for a purpose that's different than what it's intended, right? Because that's what information security is all about. That's what hacking is all about. You're like taking the original um, use of it and then making it your own. I had teachers, public school teachers, get into security. Uh, for them, it was their drive to just do more, to always like that itch. For a lot of them, they have that itch and they want to scratch that itch and cybersecurity lets you scratch that itch uh, with freedom. So actually I had transitioned into a, a full-time job along with the veterinary tech work uh, as a recruiter and I hated it. It wasn't for me. I was doing their technical screening and I got exposed to the uh, Dallas Hackers community uh, when I was living in Tampa, Florida. And I, I learned that that was my personality type and I liked to solve things and I more so liked to break things. Many companies I worked for, even doing networking, I just saw this lack of security mindedness in general and just this lack of security in most networks and so it really made me want to get into it and help fill those gaps. So I think having an indirect path into cybersecurity gave me an advantage in certain ways um, that I'm very, very thankful for. From a teacher, the transferable skills is personal management, organization, time management, and reporting and everything like that. When you're a makeup artist, you have to be able to have a great conversation, build rapport with people. You have to make them feel comfortable. That ability is something that's super important because at the end of the day, I don't want to just do a pen test and leave and then nothing really changes. I want to like have that ability to communicate how important it is that there would be a change for whatever I found. Previously I did a lot of customer service and this sounds kind of strange to say in a, in a industry where it's very technical but I think actually having a good background in dealing with people has actually helped me progress because I, I'm, I think I'm pretty good at taking a technical concept and communicating to non-technical people. If you want to get into hacking or cybersecurity, and most of the jobs in cybersecurity are on the defensive side, so if you want to do either of those, I would just encourage you to hack something. 
I, I guess the best advice I have is there's no wrong answer. There's no wrong path. All of us come from someplace different and it makes us better because of it. You can use any skill you have now in hacking because it's just people. If you get in that mindset of we're all trying to accomplish the same goals and then use it to your advantage, you'll be a great hacker or digital forensics or incident response. You know, there's, there's no wrong path. There's nothing you can't do. Just stick to it and be stubborn. Sure, taking a leap is scary, especially if it's like a field that you know, you're not familiar with. But to be honest, that's kind of what makes it exciting. Because you're like, I I'm going all in. I, it, taking that leap, to be honest, has been the best thing I could have done for myself uh, in my lifetime. Cybersecurity is a field that values perseverance, and I think the uniting feeling that all of us have is the satisfaction after a job well done or solving a problem that you've been up all night thinking about. Uh, and I promise that that feeling will make it worth it, no matter how hard the journey is uh, and no matter how difficult of a time you're having, it's going to be worth it, I promise.